hello and welcome to this session in this video in this lecture we are going to learn about issues in Jira this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will go up step by step so we will see how to create issues how to edit or create issue types we will also learn how do we edit or create the issue workflows and then we will understand the type of issues in Jira so this is this will be very interesting and this will also lay the foundation for you to create manage and work with issues in Jira so let's get started let us first see a demo how to create issues so let's log into your Jira account I'm already logged in here so you can go to your Jira and you can see there is a create button here and this is what we will use to create issues so click on the create button that is step number one you can be in any of your projects as well so let's say I'm here I will go to my project here and then also you can see the create button is here so click on this button create and here you can select the project so if you have multiple projects you can select it from the drop down here so and then we have the issue type so we will also learn about different issue types in this session at the uh, later in the video so you have to select the project and issue type so let's say I will say this is a task okay so this is step number two and then after selecting the issue types you have to enter the fields whatever you see so you can see these fields may also change based on the issue type if I say bug you may get some different fields and some common fields so based on this you can see this fields here so let's say I say epic here I can say the status or if I say task here you can see we have these statuses we can also add more statuses as well if I say story and let's say I will continue with task for now and later I will show you the different statuses and different types so I will say this is a demo task and then need to complete this demo task you can also use at and mention someone in your team so you can also mention like this okay then assignee you can keep it automatic or say assign to me and then if you have any labels you can check here then if you there is any parent issue for this issue you can check here or you can assign it here and if you have teams you can assign to a particular team and then now if this is a scrum project and you have sprints you can also select the sprint in which this issue will get created okay and then you can give some story points so this is how much will be the size of this particular issue so story points are basically to estimate the work or estimate how much effort can it take for example if I say story point is one it can be a very simple and quick task for two or three it can be a bit more hard for something like very complex and time consuming it can be five or six uh, so accordingly you can add story points and this field can is configurable all these fields of the issues are configurable so let me quickly show you if I go to let me discard this one and if I go to the settings here and go to issues and here you can see we can add issue types we can add more issue types here so I can say add issue type and I can add different issue types and then uh, if I you can see some field configurations if I go to these field configurations and this is what it is used for the projects and if I see story points here you can see story points are here so measurement of complexity and size of a requirement so I can edit it hide required all this I can make it here okay so coming back to our issues let me go back to our project first let me say I'll go here and again go to create and I'll say demo task so in real world this summary and description has to be something meaningful so that the teams can see this and know that what it, this task or story or bug is about and then you have to give all the description here okay and then all these 
fields you can check whatever fields are there now there may be some differences in the fields what you see on your screen or if you have if you're using a company managed jira so because i told you all these fields are configurable so in, in case you use your project jira there may be some fields uh, which are configured accordingly to your project so you may find different fields as well here so if there is any parent for this issue you can check here we have teams here if you create a team you will find it here then we you can also attach files and then linked issues all this is here and then i will say create so this will create the issue okay and because this is a scrum project it should have gone in the backlog so you can see here if i see this has come here and if you want you can add it to your sprint okay so i will i can drag and drop it to the sprint and then i can also start the sprint i can make it one week two weeks so don't worry about the sprint i will have a separate session for the sprint for now i'm just doing it so that it can be shown here in the board of the project if you are using a different project like a scrum project you will directly see the board here even if you do not start a sprint okay and then in this board if you want you can directly move these issues from these all these sections to do progress in progress done or whatever sections are there so you can do like that okay so this is how you can create and save the issues and we can also add attachments as we have seen we you can also leave comments to communicate with your team so let's say if i go to any of this issue and click on the issue you can see here we can this is our description and i can add comments here and also mention someone so that they it can be referred to a particular person and then you can see all the details here if i go to this add button we have options to add attachment child issue linked issue web link and also a video and then here you can see to do uh, this is the status if you want to change the status you can change it here or you can also directly change the status by dragging and dropping within the board like this so if i bring it here and now if i go to the issue you can see here here it is now in in progress so you can change it from here and then here you can see more fields are here so you can see the assignee label parent team and then sprint if you are using a scrum project you will see sprint development reporter etc all this you can check here okay now let's say if i create a issue in a uh, let's say a kanban project so this is one project that we created in the earlier session which was a kanban project and if i now create a issue here i will again say this is a task and here we have this this is a demo task complete the or i will say the here we have details of the demo task and then again you can see all these fields are here okay and then i will say create and you can see it has now directly come here even if you do not add it to a sprint it has come here because this is a this is not a scrum project a kanban project and now if i i can drag and drop like this i can also go to the details and here you can see all the details here now as i told you there can be different fields that you see here so it will depend on the project the configuration of the issues and different configurations that we have done okay and here you can also see watch options you can see all these details here we have options to add flag add parent move clone delete all these options you will find here okay so this is how you can create issues and then you can also directly create issues from the project board so you can uh, see all the issues on the project board you can directly create the issues or update the issues so let me show you if i go to this project board and if i directly click on this create issue this is a new issue and i will say create you can see it directly got created here okay so i can now go click on this issue and if i want to add more details i can add more details from here okay so this is a very quick way of 
adding issues and then if you want to do any changes you can also change make changes from here you can see all these details here also one more information just in case you want to have different workflow so now as of now we have the workflow like we have issue which will start from to do status then will go in in progress status and then to done status and in case you want to add some more uh, states to this workflow you can go here and create a column and let's say i will say in review and say okay you will see that it will get created here and then if i want to also move this in review here before done i can do that okay so we will learn more about this in the workflow section but i would just wanted to very quickly show you that in case you want that there should be some more stages or some you want to change something you can also do it directly from the project board like this so i can also move it like this okay so this can be very handy and this is how we create issues very quickly now whenever you have to make any changes to the settings of the issues you can always go to the settings from here okay so when you go to settings you will have a option for issues so all the issue settings at a global level you can check here and for at a project level if you want to see any changes or want to make any changes or see whatever is the issue types and different workflows etc you can go to the project settings from here we have project settings and then you will find issue types here so you can see the issue types are here and you can check this okay so this is done how to create issues now let us see how to edit or create issue types and workflows so this is what i was referring to just now we can go to project settings and go to issue types and then here we can add or edit issue types and also edit the workflow so workflow is what are the stages an issue will go through so if i go to my project settings and go to issue types you can see here we have all these issue types epic task subtask i can add more issue types so i can add something like story i will say add i will add a bug as well okay so now when i create a issue so you will see all these issue types will show here okay and then you can also select any of the issue type and then you can see the fields here you can change or edit the fields from here you can also add more fields from here you can create new more fields so let's say in this whenever i want to create a bug i want to add something like timestamp or uh, the start and end so i want to say actual start i will drag and drop like this actual end i will drag and drop like this and i will say save changes so you can play on this you can try and figure out different things and you can check what all you can do so if i now go to create and if i select the issue type as bug you will see these fields so the start actual start time and the end time are added here okay so you can see all these things have come here okay then you can see all most of these fields that you may want to add in any of any type of issues are all here okay due date impact sprint start date story point estimate all this is here okay so in case when you create a issue for a particular type and you don't see some particular field that you need you can always come here and add the fields accordingly okay and then we have the option to edit the workflow so if i go here you can see this is our workflow for now so from create it goes to to do when issue gets created it, it goes to to do and then we have in progress and done and then review so let's say if i want to change or edit anything i can do it here or i can also say i can let's say i will add one more status called one more done status i will click on this and i will say completed and i will add it so after review i want to make it to completed and then i want i can also add transition from done it should go to review and i will say send for review this transition and from review i want to make the transition to completed and here i will give the transition name as review done okay so you can change the workflow 
you can add to do statuses in progress statuses transitions anything and if i go to this you can also change it any of these statuses from here i will say update workflow and then you can select what are all issue types should this be implemented to and then save and continue So now this is how this will work. Okay. So let me close this. Okay. So this is how we can create issue types and workflows and manage them. Now we have already seen different issue types. We have seen epic, story, task, bug, subtask, etc. So here in general, we have epics as the large objectives and this epic can be divided into smaller tasks or stories and if there are any issues we can create bugs as well okay so all these are issues and then there are different issue types then issues are can be stories and tasks that represent work needed for epic so for example epic is a larger objective and to complete this epic we can have multiple smaller stories and tasks and whenever there is some issue we have a bug for that okay and then subtasks are smaller tasks necessary to complete a story or task or a bug so when we create a task or a story or bug they can be more smaller subtasks that will complete the that particular story or task or bug okay so here if i take an example let us say we have a big project let us say we uh, as part of that big project, a very, very major thing that we have to do is or uh, the project goal is to remodel the kitchen. So that will become our epic. Now, issue can be a major step in that project. For example, install new cabinets or replace the countertop. This can be a issue. And in this issue, we can have a story. So for example, a very specific user need. I say that as a chef, I want more counter space so I can prepare meals efficiently. So this can be a type of issue, which is a story. Then a task can be some simple work that I like paint the walls or uh, we have to install the cabinets. This can be a task. Okay. And then a bug can be when we are doing the story task or our epic, whenever we, f we come across some issue, for example, leaky faucet or something not working, we can create a bug for that. Okay. And then subtask can be assemble cabinet frames, install cabinet doors, something like that. Okay, so this is how you can think of Jira issue types and this is how you can think of a project and how we will create these different issue and we will assign the types of the issue. Okay, so I hope now it is very, very clear to you Jira issue types and we have also learned how do we create issues, manage issues, edit issues, create issue types. Uh, manage workflows, edit workflows of issue. So I hope this was very useful. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.